What's up everyone? Alex here. Last time on Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, I got rid of the very last bit of backtracking and tedium that I had left to do. And now we are on our way to the Protopet Factory on Planet Yeedle. Now this is the last planet, so this is most likely going to be the finale. However, this is not going to be the last Ratchet and Clank Going Commando video I do. And definitely not the last one I do in the near future. Because I still have three skill points that are much easier to get after you beat the game. And, well, there's two Platinum Bolts, but we've gotten all the Nanotech Boosts. We've gotten all the Platinum Bolts that we can get, because there's two more on this planet. And, besides those three skill points, there's very little reason not to just go for it. So first up, we have a Platinum Bolt right up here. Oh, we got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, my bad. My bad, game. I think, I think the game wants me to go up here and, and grind rail from this side. Yep, there we go. So just jump, bam, Platinum Bolt. Super easy, probably one of the easier ones to get in the game, if I'm being honest. So Planet Eedle's pretty tough. I wouldn't say it's the toughest planet in the game, though. That's just my opinion. Let's see here. We're going to just quick select a little bit here. Because that's what I do on camera. It's all great. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. That'll be fine. We'll be good. And I can just go in here, get my Hypnomatic out, and boom! This receiver and we're going to Hypnomatic that guy. We've got Protopets guarding their own factory. That's kind of weird. So this... We kind of get the Hypnomatic really late into the game, so I feel like the developers were like, the Hypnomatic's only used on like three planets, so we better make it heavily used on this one. And so for the beginning outside part of the factory, we do in fact have to use the Hypnomatic a lot. However, the little robots we get to use with it are incredibly good at dealing with protopets. How about that? Because, like, look at that. That is just ridiculous. And we have a bunch of these guys. These guys are tougher versions of the ones we fought earlier in the games. In the weapon factory and that, that sort of thing. Get our swing shot out. Man, it's a good thing Ratchet and Clank brought these gadgets. The swing shot and grind boots from their galaxy. Otherwise, they would have been really screwed. I really... You know what? Actually, thinking about it now, I actually do want my Sheepinator instead of my shield. Because I can just go into my weapons and get my shield out if I feel like I need it. However, the Sheepinator is really good for dealing with protopets. So that's why I'm going to use it. Ow! Man, those tanks are tough. Took half my ammo with the mini rocket tube. Get out of here, dudes. Stop it. You're just embarrassing yourselves. Oh god, there's more now. I don't think the mini rocket tube is going to be enough. So let's get the plasma coil out. Yeah, the plasma coil is not doing it either for me. Vaporizer? Nope. Vaporizer is only handy if you actually hit, though. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, hello, boys. Uh, hover bomb glove? I guess it's a hover bomb bomb or gun, excuse me. It's like good for short to mid range. I wish it kind of like dealt more damage the further it went. That'd be like a really handy like reward for using it and having the patience to use it. However, it does seem like it's doing a bunch of damage. Do one more to take out the tank. There we go. Gotta give some love to the lesser known weapons. I I feel like this is a underrated gun, the hover bomb gun. I definitely underrated it. Whoa! Ho 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 ho! No. No, sir, and we don't need the dynamo. We need the hypnomatic. So this part is kinda cool. We basically have to it, it's like a royale. Like, we go in, we have to fight all the enemies, and we have, like, 
side robots to jump into when our robot gets a little too busted up. Because every time you get hit, you don't lose HP, you lose time. So like, I have 30 seconds here. If I get hit, it'll probably go down by like six or seven seconds and so on and so forth. However, I want to rip off this robot's arms because the guns are overpowered and I just want to give them to Ratchet because they're incredibly powerful. Like, look at this, look at this. It's like so easy to take out the enemies. And then we want to go around here because that unlocks our little teleporter to get us inside the factory. Easy peasy. And we get us our continue point, which is nice. Continue points are great. All right. Yeah. Let's see here. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use a spider bot glove. So I think I would rather have the Killinoids equipped. I know there's going to be enemies right here, so <laughs> just do that. Are there more? Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, got him. You thought you had me. You did not. All right. This area is a little different. Because there's going to be enemies coming from all sides. Yep, we can even see that guy before he's even up here. Three? Three rockets to kill one of those guys. Maybe only two. If you let the acid mod kick enough. Maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, Let's go in guns blazing, yeah? what I do. Whoa, that was some gravity stuff. Ooh, uh, hello, boys. Don't mind me, I'm just destroying your face. The shield barrier doing work. Whoa, hello. You can't just spawn on top of me, guys. That's not how it works. Are we done? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? And there are no skill points on Planet Eedle, which is kind of nice, in in all honesty. Oh, my Killinoids are out. Although I think they're on my quick select. Yep, hello. Uh, Hover Bomb Glove. I keep wanting to call it the Hover Bomb Glove. I do not know why. Probably, is that what it was in the first game? Because there was a similar weapon in the first game. It was the mine launcher or something like that. Very first game. Shield barrier back up. So shield barrier is very hard. It's probably the hardest weapon to upgrade, but once it's upgraded, it's like super overpowered. So basically the thing is you have to hit the enemy with the shield because that'll do a very micro amount of damage. And that's how you upgrade it. However, it doesn't I wish it got experience for blocking damage. Because even if you're... Oh, boy. I forgot I have to actually get off that thing. Get out of here, man. I love the lock-on mod, how you can see when he's HP. It's pretty cool to me. Oh, our mini rocket tube's almost upgraded. It might upgrade by the time we get to the final boss room. Which would be nice. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I can't believe I've just now noticed, but whenever I use the dynamo, it reminds me of Green Lantern rings. I'm just now realizing that. Bouncer, you didn't one-shot an enemy? You kind of did. You did okay. All right, let's turn vaporizer out. Take out these assholes that are hiding up here, like bitches. I know you're up there, dude. Yeah. Armor piercing. Yeah. Have fun with that. Mini rocket tube. You can upgrade whenever you're ready, sweetie. Still no, huh? Well, 
Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, look at it. It's got four now. So y you can basically charge up. Which is very powerful, apparently. Good for us. Oh, God, there's more. You know what? Hold on to this for me, would you? Thanks. Man, this gun is freaking strong. All right, one more shot. Let's do it. Boom. Is that it? Is that it? Okay. Infiltrator time, baby. Nope, that was the wrong way. Yep, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, it's gonna happen. No! Oh, I, I was probably very close. Nope. Stop messing up. Damn it. Hello. Oh god, it's a bunch of proto-pets. Oh, you know what would be horrible? If we had them drown. Yeah. Proto-pets can't swim. Fun fact. Well, it's not really a fun fact, but do with it what you will. Come on. There we go. I don't like the proto-pet noises that they keep making. It's actually scary. No, you don't get a chance to breed frickin' po podopets. Podopets, they're called podopets now. I'm standing by it. So we got our tanks. Unfortunately for them, I have a new, very powerful weapon that likes eating tanks for breakfast. It's a high iron meal. Whoa. And one more time, boom. Goodbye. All right, so get our swing shot back out. So we can go over there. Cool. I mean, I'm good with it. All right, so I think this is a continue point. Never mind. We're gonna use our electrolyzer because the game loves throwing everything at us. I think every gadget is necessary to progressing except the tractor beam. However, the tractor beam is important for a different reason because it gets us the last platinum bolt in the game. No, man, I saw it and I just didn't hit the button fast enough. I'm focusing, <laughs> damn it. It's okay. On the bright side, I know exactly, like, the pattern stays the same at all times. So I can just, I know ahead of time where to flip it at. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we're good. Now, let's go ahead and get our ammo back. All right, we're good. Oh, and yeah. So that lets us take our elevator over here. And see, there's our last platinum bolt. Now, if only we could get up there. I'm just kidding, I know how to get up there. It involves this room, actually. All right, we're gonna turn all these protopets into black sheep. That's what they are. Well, they're easier to deal with when they're black sheep. Oh god. You know what? You know what? Actually, you guys deserve this. You deserve this. And you guys deserve some hover bomb action. Oh, that that was very satisfying. Alright. Are you hiding in a corner? Not from the hover bomb. I love this last line of defense they have. It's a hover tank. Hover tank, meet hover bomb. Yeah, rip. You guys, I didn't give you guys permission to spawn new enemies. 
I didn't do that. You guys weren't allowed to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you stay in the corner. More? More, really? Okay, here. Have that. Have that. Are, are more of you gonna spawn now? That's what I thought. So we got our tractor beam. We're gonna get rid of you. And then we are going to do the last grind rail segment of the game. Pretty easy one. Nothing, nothing fancy. It's not overly long either. Whee! Boop. Boop. A couple more jumps. And we did it. That is the last one in the game. Got them all. I'm very impressed with myself, actually. I deserve a pat on the back. And the last line of defense was a hover tank guarding a bridge. Whoa! This I didn't mean to skip past those guys, but whatever. Room. I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in Me too. time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She hey, it's Clank girlfriend. Tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork. Oops. Indeed. <gasps> what? Now that I've sold my one millionth hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark. All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster. <laughs> oh, boy. But, Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizzwidget! Ah! <laughs> this is bad. All right, just what the f is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to explain. Oh my god. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one. Oh. And I don't want to be public enemy one number guards, one. Seize them! Smile, it's showtime! <clears throat> Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. What? The <laughs> flashlight of justice? Oh. At <laughs> Ratchet. Ratchet doesn't care. Has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens. These are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now... Sure we are. This, uh, super... Electro gadget I invented. I will end the protopet threat. The sex toy. Got it. That's my elixir. I invented. Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I <laughs> amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow Man, I'm I'm convinced this is clearly going to work. Oh, he's an angry boy. Oh, he's an angry boy. <laughs> Who programs robots with fear? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. Yeah. In a minute. After we buy ammo. Because ammo is important, guys. And there we have it. So we can take this teleporter back to our ship. We can take this teleporter to exit the Megacorp lab. However, we're just going to jump in here and get rid of the protopet. With the only way we understand. Violence! That doesn't really do much. Let's try this. This is a very easy boss fight. 
in my opinion. Oh, don't eat that. Don't, oh, he ate it. Because now he's gonna shoot grenades at us, and missiles, and it's just not gonna be a good time. So this boss fight, he is the definition of a bullet sponge. Oh, I forgot to mention, while you're charging the Mega Rocket Tube, like, it's charging four shots, but it it uses all four. I'm gonna get squished. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh my god. So we're actually gonna equip that, and those. One sec. There we go. This should protect us. Probably. <laughs> uh... Literally, the only reason this boss is even a final boss fight is because he's a bullet sponge and he takes like 8 billion hits to kill. If you somehow grinded a million bolts by this point, the Rhino makes this fight so easy. Oh god. So we get robot guys spawning in, but they're not actually concerned with us! Well, good job, uh, Shield Charger. You actually absorbed a lot of the impact of that. My, my PS3 is currently melting because of all the particle effects that are on screen. Ha! Face! Can't eat it now, can you? With it all squashed like that. Oh, right. You can also use the tractor beam on this fight to, like, lead that bomb towards him. But, I mean, what's the point? You can just shoot him instead. Oh boy. Again, Bouncer is probably just my go-to weapon, like, for killing enemies, at least until I get the Rhino 2. But I don't have the Rhino 2. So, I mean, like, what can you do? Hey, that rhyme. So, yeah, not a hard boss. He just rolls around, he shoot, he spawns protopets. Up, oh, and there we go. He's done. Easiest boss fight in the world. Easiest final boss fight in the world. Nothing like Kingdom Hearts. You did it! It's okay. This is the real Mr. Fizz Widget. Quark had him tied up in a supply closet all he this even looks time. nicer. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was nothing, sir. Oh, he's actually Sorry saying real words. Look some more back. Right. What do you suppose is wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. It could take months of research and... The battery is in backwards. Oops. Uh. Imbecilic to the very last. Imbecilic? Who said imbecilic? <laughs> oh, boy. I just have to amplify the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. It should. Think... Uh -oh. oh, no. It's okay. I can fix her. I promise. Aww. That's so nice. And we get our credits. Credits are important because it lets us know who worked on the game. You know, credit stuff. Anyway, so that is Ratchet and Clank going commando. There are a couple more screen. I was going to say screens. But there's a couple more after credit scenes and mid credit scenes. Uh, everybody says Marvel was the first to do that, but I mean, Ratchet and Clank going commando. Come on, guys. Like, damn. But yeah, so, fun game. Probably my favorite Ratchet and Clank game. Uh, it's the one I know the best, anyway. And even then, while doing the Let's Play, I had to look up some stuff. I know, I know, I'm such a fake, but I mean, I did. Because some of that stuff is super cryptic. So, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not going to be the last Ratchet and Clank Going Commando video. It is the finale for the main story. But Ratchet and Clank games are very well known for having challenge mode attached to them. What challenge mode is, it's basically a new game plus. So you get to play through the game. Again, it's... So, oh, cutscene. what do you like to do for fun? Oh, oh boy. My goodness. <laughs> So, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. <laughs> so, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something fierce. The 
Probomatic? Testing the full body vaccinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Is this game making a pubic hair joke? Subject oh my god. Okay. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. Crotchetizer? Crotchetizer. Anyway, like what I was saying, New Game Plus is just the game. It's harder, and you get to keep all your upgrades, weapons, all that stuff. The only thing is you gotta, like, re-unlock all the planets, obviously. So you don't have the availability of, like, going back and doing everything, but it's not bad. It's not a bad time. It makes getting the remaining skill points, which are nano to the max, which means I need to get the rest of the nanotech available to me, which is like that second bar of little nanotech segments. And then I need to get weapon envy, which means getting every weapon in the game and also getting every weapon upgraded in the game. And then what is the, oh, nice ride, which means I have to get all ship weapon upgrades. Additional sound design by Technicolor Creative Services. And we get our voice cast. <laughs> oh, Fizz Widget and Quirk were voiced by the same dude. That's kind of cool. Wow, not a lot of voice actors for this game. We're at, what, 9 right now? 10, 11, 12? 14? Yeah, a lot of them were pulling triple quadruple duty like that was less than 20 voice actors for this game that's crazy that would not happen today this was back when games were like made in basements and stuff not necessarily this one but that was the era we were living in in the early 2000s this is nuts to think about all right fellas nice and tight now oh boy so you tested this right what is this for? I'm here. <laughs> oh, one more thing. What is this for? Oh my god. Ugh. Congratulations. You have the choice to go back in time before you defeat Quirk or play a new game in challenge mode. Challenge mode is a good way to earn tons of bolts by playing a tougher version of the game. You get to keep all your weapons, and you can upgrade them further by purchasing Mega Upgrades at the vendor. Vendor. Check out the specials menu for new features. So, I'm going to click challenge mode, and it's going to take us way back to the beginning of the game. Which is great, Welcome if back. I'm being honest. And we're going to just skip the cutscenes. And see, our ship isn't the Blargy and Red that it was before. It's got the torpedo launcher, the missile launcher, all that good stuff. And we're actually on our way to planet Aranos. Ratchet report. Yep, skip. And we are at the very beginning of the game. And the game auto-equips you with the heavy lancer instead of the regular lancer. So yeah, that's another thing. We get to keep all of these. So I am missing three weapons, and then I need to get all the weapons to at least this orange level. I say at least because challenge mode unlocks quite a few. Uh, we have our normal wrench back. How, if we go into special movie, we get shortcuts, which as we play through the game, it lets us just go to places that are important uh, without going back to our ship, like Maktar, um, Arena, that kind of stuff. Random stuff, we have Space-ish Wars, which is like... A really weird game <laughs> where you play a sheep that shoot each other in space and it's really weird um, we get first person node node Ooh. for some reason left to oh god it's all wonky and weird but yeah so challenge mode it's a good time it's what Ratchet and Clank is built off of you play challenge mode over and over and over again Oh, and another thing, if we defeat some enemies, yeah, they are taking some damage. Yeah, so I am going through about 100 rounds of my Lancer in order to kill them. However, if you look at the top right, there's a multiplier on our bolts, which means we get bolts quicker and faster this time around. So challenge mode is a good time. It is easily, 
you. Oh, shit. I don't have stuff on my quick select. It is easily the best way to 100%ing the game. Yeah. I'm only gonna make myself use weapons that need to be upgraded. Oh god, they take two shots to kill with this? Holy crap. Um, it is... You have to do challenge mode in order to... The number next to... I know, I explained it already. Calm down. In order to 100% the game, you, you have to do challenge mode. There's... Like, it's so difficult to beat 100% this game without challenge mode. I'm not going to say impossible, because I know some people have done it, but... It's hard, and why make life harder for yourself when you don't have to? What I'm really concerned about is upgrading the shield charger. That's going to be fun to do. So, I think I am going to wrap it up there. And that is the end of Ratchet & Clank Going Commando, everybody. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you soon.